And a breaking alert you first saw on our NBC 12 News app. Right now, a man is fighting for his life after a shooting in the parking lot of a busy South Richmond shopping center. And tonight, police still searching for that gunman. Brittany McDonald is joining us live from that scene near Hull Street tonight with the very latest. And Brittany's been following the story all evening. Brittany, tell us what happened there. Walk us through what happened. Yeah, Kurt, well, that man was shot in this parking lot right here. Police tell me that he was conscious and breathing when he was taken to the hospital, but his injuries are life threatening. Now you can see that police have cleared the scene now, but just a short while ago, this entire area was taped off as families were trying to head in and out doing their shopping. I was about to just hide in the trunk when I heard it, though. It was crazy. Eight-year-old Franklin McElroy was in the car with his parents pulling up to this food line for groceries when he heard gunshots. After I heard the shots, it was just kind of scary. I saw lots of police coming. It was just hard to understand. And saw something a child can't erase from his mind. All we could see was that a man was down and he was shot. McElroy and his parents still continued on into the store as police flooded the scene near Hull Street and Swanson Roads. We're always concerned whenever we have any kind of shooting, but especially a shooting that's in, in a public place like this. Richmond Police Captain Daryl Gowen says the man was shot multiple times in the shopping center's parking lot at about 6 o'clock Tuesday night after an altercation with someone it appears he knew. Unfortunately, it was individuals who um, were not able to handle uh, their problems in a, in a civil manner, which led to this. Shortly after the shooting, people continue on with their shopping here tonight, even while the majority of the parking lot is taped off with police here investigating. I would not expect this here. You know. Patrick Cadet, who shops here often, says he's now thinking of changing spots. You're just scared for your life. You don't know, you know. What can happen to you? Because the bullet don't have a name on it, you know? Overall, we still feel that this is a safe area. Um, we want to go ahead and get any help from the public to identify um, who this individual was that perpetrated this crime so that we can get them off the streets. Now, police tell me they are beefing up patrols in the area and they're working on new initiatives to get illegal firearms off the streets. Now, of course, if you know anything in this case, call Crime Stoppers at 780-1000. We'll keep you posted on any new details. For now, on your sign in Richmond, Brittany McDonald, NBC 12. Okay.